You see how when I shoot reactions to scary short films, I make sure all of the lights are on, all of the doors in the room are closed, and my husband is awake and aware downstairs to protect me from any monsters. Very demure, very cutesy, very mindful. <laughs> I really enjoy that trend because I, I love a good catchphrase. You know what I mean? I love a good catchphrase and I really just feel like you can apply that specific one to so many situations and it applies whether you're being legit with it or you're being sarcastic with it. Like either way, it's gold. It's gold. And yes, you heard me correctly. I'm here to watch a horror short film. First and foremost, what up, Hobiscuits? It's your girl Skitten, back at it again. You guys may or may not know this about me, but I actually really enjoy watching horror movies. And I think it's because personally, I feel like horror movies are, they just have like really interesting storylines, right? And I'm nosy, but the other, the, but, but the problem with me enjoying watching horror movies, right, is I am a big, that scaredy cat, okay? <laughs> I'm a huge scaredy cat, so I wanna watch the horror movie, right? But I don't want to see the scary stuff. <laughs> so uh, my friends always make fun of me and my husband always makes fun of me because like we'll watch a scary movie and then I'll like cover my face with a blanket. They're like, you wanted to watch the scary movie? And I'm like, right, yes, I did did want to watch a scary movie because like, I want a little, ooh, right? But I don't want to be like really scared and I want to know what happens. Like, what do you mean there's a demon in your house but you can only see it after midnight when you've been drink taking, what's, I don't know, what's that drug that like people take and then they're like, oh, I saw God, whatever, uh, whatever that shit is, right? Like, what are you talking about? So with that said, we are here to watch a short film called Play Me. Um, it's from the same, I wanna say it's the same director as the horror short film I shot a, a little while back, last year, the year before, called uh, The Other Side of the Box. And so I feel like it's gonna be good because that one was good. It was terrifying, but it was good, right? So I'm pretty excited about it, but I'm very apprehensive. I've been putting this off, honestly, because every time that I've been sitting down to shoot videos lately, it's been like after one in the morning and like my husband's asleep. So if something comes to kill me, there's nobody to save me. He sleeps really hard. He wouldn't even know. So, but he's awake right now. So I'm gonna shoot the video right now. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are staying safe and sanitized. I'm super excited to see what this video has in store for us. Uh, hold on, I'll be right back. Say hello to Herbert. I want him at Dave and Buster's and he's here to protect me from anything bad that might occur. So I just ran up the stairs, so I'm breathing like that. Um, yeah, I'm super excited to see what this video has in store for us. So without further ado, Let's go ahead and get started. <sighs> Who the fuck are you? Oh, okay. Okay. What? Where are you? <gasps> Who the fuck? Hey. What do you mean, hey? I don't. Why are you getting out of the car? Help! What are we? Why are we screaming? sitting there. Who is that? Does she not remember what's going Did she kidnap somebody and she doesn't remember? What's going Okay, also, Herbert, love you so much. You're going to have to protect me from down here. You're massive. <laughs> That's what she said. I'm so concerned. Like, we're only in the first minute and a half of the film, and I have so many questions. I'm going to let the film answer them, but I'm just like, what... <sighs> Okay. Girl, how 
how you lose the keys? You just have them. situation. Okay. My name is Control Agent Elizabeth Armstrong, badge number 48625. You hear my voice? I don't believe you. This is your voice. You recorded this. Okay. I know you're confused, but if you want to survive, you need to do exactly as I say. Okay. There should be what looks like a person with you. Uh-huh. Do not untie them. Okay. Do not look at their face. Okay. What's in that bag isn't human. Okay. If you see its face, you'll forget everything, like <gasps> wiping a hard drive. That's number one. Number two, Uh find a pen, a reliable one. You can't trust your memory anymore. Your pen is your lifeline. You lose it, you're dead. Number three, this is the hard part. Inside your bag, you should have a weapon. If you're lucky, that'll be your surface pistol, and this next part will be easy. If you're not, then you'll have to do it with whatever you can find. Uh. I know. I know. I'm sorry, Liz, but if you're... The car, don't start. We already did this. Come on! Come on! (gasps) Listen to the rest of the thing. You gotta listen to the rest of the thing. I need instructions. You're listening to this. It means containment has failed and you're the last one left. If that thing gets free, it will kill you. It will kill everyone. I know you can do it because you're me and this is not how we die. Okay. Hello? (gasps) Don't do it. Kill it, just kill it, just kill it, just kill him right now, kill him right now. Hey, hey, stop it, stop that. You feel that? You do that again, I hurt you. Please take it off. Don't do it. I can't do that. Don't do it. Can you open the window? I can't breathe. Only if you answer my questions. What? Okay. are you? Okay. You don't have to do this. Do what? Just let me go. Answer my question or I'm rolling up the window. Who are you? First of all, what makes you think that he hasn't been awake the entire time? The entire time, right? And listen to that whole thing that you just played. It's not like you played it outside where he couldn't hear it. So he literally just heard you receive instructions to kill him. Like, obviously, whatever he has to say next cannot be trusted. I would, okay, whatever. I'm your brother. I don't have a brother. You don't know that. You forgot again, didn't you? Uh Uh-oh. Elizabeth, Liz, I'm not a monster. Why would you say that? Because you've done this before. You have a condition. I take care of you. What? We, uh, There's a picture of us in your back pocket. That's us. Okay. Don't check. Don't check. Don't check. You could have seen this. Right. What? Exactly. How do I know this is you? Exactly. Look at my face. I can't do that. You know I can't do that. Come on! Just look! Hey! Hey! Stop! Stop! I said stop! I please, said stop! Please, 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 please. Uh, make me believe you! No. Make me believe you! No! No! Oh. oh my god! Oh my god, girl! You have a hammer! You don't have to do this by hand, girl! Uh, uh, oh, okay, but what's 
worse, right? Like what's worse, like strangling somebody to death with your bare hands or bashing their heads in with a hammer? I actually don't think I could do either one. I'm cooked in this situation. I'm absolutely cooked in this situation. But also she's in such an impossible situation because like, obviously her brain is wiped, right? She can't, she clearly can't remember anything. Um, so, which me, but also, okay, if you can't remember anything, then wouldn't that mean that you already saw his face? So it feels like you're screwed from jump, but if you already saw his face, but he's still tied up, okay. Again, I have so many questions. I have so many questions. We're halfway through the movie. Okay, I'm ready. Yeah, that shit was crazy, girl. That shit was nuts. Get out the car, girl. Get out the car. You're not a secret agent. There is no conspiracy. It's just you and me, Liz, please. I don't know, man. I don't know. If she's not a secret agent, where'd she get the handcuffs? If she's not a secret agent, where'd she get the handcuffs? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. What do you do? It's cold. Are you gonna kill me? I might have to. I don't think you will. Why not? You're a good person. Why do you say that? Why don't you just like... Because you closed the window. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I knew it, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew. Oh my God. When she closed the window, I was like, he was just complaining about not being able to breathe. And then you choked him. And then you choked him. So he, oh my God. I knew oh, that little gap in the window is all he fucking needed, bro. Ah! I was trying, I was trying to push down my suspicions, but it was there wriggling in my little brain. Uh, and then he was like, it's cold. And she rolled it up and I was just like, uh, there was just a little, little alarm bell started ringing in my brain. Get out of the car, get out of the car now. Don't look, oh God, I can't look. Oh God, don't look. Don't look in the mirror. Don't look in the mirror. Don't look in the mirror. He's gone, girl. He's gone, girl. He gone. Why wouldn't you just leave? Why would you not just leave? I would you have to go. You have to leave. Uh, he has already escaped. You have to leave. You don't have the you don't have the memories to deal with this, right? You don't have the memories. You probably don't remember any of the skills that you need to deal with this. Like, girl, we got to leave and regroup. It looks like you're in the middle of nowhere, so it's not like he can go somewhere far. I mean, I mean, he's clearly not human. So clearly not human so maybe he can travel fast but still middle of nowhere is pretty big especially i'm assuming y'all are in america and i was talking to you guys about this before about how people who are not in america do not understand how vast america is like it's huge it's really big our wastelands are so large all that to say this is a terrible idea Oh, and he running around you. You stupid. Please tell me you took the keys at least. Oh God.
Is it just like playing a game with her? There. Isn't that better? Oh no. Oh no. What are you gonna do with the hammer? I don't know. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, this is a setup for something really bad. I'm so stressed. Oh my gosh. Uh, Herbert's like right there and I'd like, a uh, huge part of me wants to pull him back up, but I won't, I won't, I'm gonna be strong. Do you think I could hold it? No! Did it work? Did it work? Did it work? Did it work? I think it worked. Oh. 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 I really didn't think she was gonna make it, y'all. I, re I really thought she looked into his face and it was kudos for her. I really did. Uh, that was so, uh, that was very stressful. That was very stressful, but it was really good. I love a horror film that can create that like pit of dread in your stomach, but then also give it a release. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to just dread builds and builds and builds and builds and then at the end, nothing is ever really resolved. You know, I, I don't like that. But this, it was so good. 10 minutes was the perfect length for it. I really enjoyed it. I I had a fantastic time. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna check out some more of these. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know down in the comments below. I really hope I have some um, fellow horror fans here amongst my ho biscuits and we can we can go on this horror journey together because I'm really really feeling it I'm really having a good time uh my horror horror movie watching buddies are no longer living in town so it's really hard to get us all together to watch horror movies and Chavez doesn't like them and as stated previously in the video I'm too chicken to watch them by myself so you guys are all I have so let's Let's do this thing. Let's do it together. You feel me? Y'all feel me. Y'all feel me. Any who's in, don't forget to leave your reaction requests and recommendations down in the comments below. And other than that, peace out, Hope Biscuits. It's skittin' lit.